the best matches of the new generation era. The new generation era of the WWF is often mocked and looked down upon. However, for those of us who watched during this time, this era was a lot of fun. It featured some fantastic talent, some memorable moments, and a whole lot of great matches. Today, we're looking at some of the best matches from the New Generation era. To set some kind of parameters, we're classing the New Generation era from King of the Ring 1994 until WrestleMania 13. Before we start, if you love wrestling, be sure to give us a like and a subscribe. Also, let us know in the comments below if you think there are any other awesome matches from the New Generation era that you feel we missed out on. Also, please note that these picks are in no particular order, and also we are fully aware that many of these matches feature Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart, but there was no avoiding that, and it really is not a bad thing. Razor Ramon in the 123 Kid vs. Shawn Michaels and Diesel. WWF Action Zone, October 1994. But now you know firsthand that being six feet under is not a tax shelter. Let us start with an absolute barn burner from October of 1994. Action Zone was one of the weekly WWF TV shows during this time. And most of the matches were your typical superstar squashes jobber, but there was usually a featured match each week. This particular match was a ton of fun. All four of these guys were, and still are, great friends behind the scenes. And that kind of chemistry translated to the ring as well. This is a match that goes at 100 miles an hour and never stops right until the end. It's a match that is famous for being exciting, but also because it was one of the many occasions in 1994 that Shawn Michaels would super kick Diesel by accident. <laughs> which would lead to their split in November 1994. This match is just a ton of fun, and it was featured on a few WWF home video releases back in the day, such as Shawn Michaels' hits from the Heartbreak Kid. Every guy in this match was on their A game, and it is well worth watching. Have you seen this match? If so, did you watch it on Action Zone or on one of the WWF home video releases? Bret Hart vs. Owen Hart, SummerSlam 1994 cage match. The whole Brett versus Owen feud was just so well done, and it had a really realistic vibe about it. This, along with Undertaker vs Yokozuna, kept the WWF going during 1994. What is, oh my, what, we've never seen anything! What is going on? These two had an excellent match at WrestleMania 10, which was a pure wrestling match, a match that Owen Hart would actually win. This would start a great year for him that resulted in winning the 1994 King of the Ring and getting a title shot at SummerSlam 1994. But this cage would be match. in a cage. This is an excellent match that has great wrestling and brawling. You could make the argument that this is the best cage match the WWF ever produced. Both guys just brought out the absolute best in each other and the added drama of the Hart family along with the Anvil and Davy Boy getting involved just mwah, the icing on the cake. Cage matches? Yeah they work. How could they not work? If they didn't work everybody would still be in the cage. Diesel versus Undertaker WrestleMania 12. Okay full disclosure here I'm not a huge fan of the Iron Man match at WrestleMania 12. I found it boring as a kid, apart from the last five minutes, and I still do to this day. However, the other big match at this show was a grudge match between Diesel and Undertaker, and until he would start facing smaller guys like Brett and Sean, this was one of the best matches Undertaker had. Diesel was so cool as this edgy, in between being a heel and face character that was actually a bit ahead of its time. This is a great brawl between two big men that does not get the credit it deserves. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this match and the Iron Man match in the comments below. Shawn Michaels vs Marty Jannetty, Monday Night Raw, July 1996. Next up, we have a match that I consider to be something of a hidden gem 
This took place on Monday Night Raw, and it was a great match. Marty was just starting to become a heel here as part of the new Rockers. Say what you want about Marty Janity, but he always had entertaining matches. Seeing him going against Sean for the WWF title was a lot of fun, and it is one of the best matches on Raw from this era. Bret Hart versus Hakushi in your house one, 1995. Bret Hart would pull double duty on this night as he would face Hakushi in the opening match along with Jerry Lawler later in the evening. His match with Hakushi is a ton of fun. You get to see some high-flying stuff that was not always something you got from the WWF during this time. Bret Hart would pull out the win, but in typical Bret Hart fashion, he worked very well with Hakushi, and he made him seem like a credible threat. Of course, this would not last, but during this time, Hakushi seemed like someone they could actually do something with. Razor Ramon vs Shawn Michaels, SummerSlam 1995. The obvious choice is the match from WrestleMania 10, but... The rematch that took place at SummerSlam 1995 was a great deal of fun. Razor and Sean always worked well together. While their match at WrestleMania 10 may have been more spectacular, these guys really worked wonders in this match. If you read Shawn Michaels' book, he states that they were kind of handcuffed in this match and could not use the ladder as a weapon as much as they would have liked. The best compliment that I can give this match is that back in 1995, I never noticed they didn't use the ladder a great deal. The two just had a fantastic match, and it was awesome seeing Shawn Michaels get his revenge after what went down at WrestleMania 10. Please share your thoughts on what match you liked best between WrestleMania 10 and SummerSlam 1995 in the comments down below. Bret Hart vs. Diesel Survivor Series 1995 Bret Hart and Diesel actually had four fantastic pay-per-view matches from 1994 to 1996, but the crown jewel of their series of matches has to be from Survivor Series 1995. Bret Hart truly is great, and Diesel, when he has the right opponent, can be great in the ring as well. These two really brought out the best in each other, and to be honest, Bret did more for Diesel in the ring than his buddy Shawn Michaels ever did. This was a great brawl. Brett had to get a bit edgy to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Diesel, and that was awesome to see. Plus, the table spot towards the end of the match, and Diesel cursing in front of the camera, and the vicious assault after it made this one of the more exciting matches the WWF had done at the time. Shawn Michaels vs British Bulldog King of the Ring, 1996. These are two other guys who always worked well together. Also, a little bit of trivia here, British Bulldog never beat Shawn Michaels. Not once. Anyway, they had a match the month before at In Your House 8, but this one was a really fun match. The whole Diana thing may be a bit annoying, but the excellent commentary from Owen Hart makes this what is already a fun match even better. Many people felt this could be the match where Bulldog takes the title. Bret Hart vs Vader vs Steve Austin vs Undertaker In Your House 13 1997 During this time, the WWF was just starting to get a real edge to their programming, and this match is one of the best of the year. And because 1997 was such a stacked year for matches from the WWF, this one often gets overlooked. This match came about as a result of the screw job finish at the Royal Rumble, and also because Shawn Michaels lost his smile. Here you go. Here's your belt. I've lost a lot of things, and one of them has been my smile. And I have to go back and I have to find my smile because somewhere along the line, I lost it. And had to forfeit his WWF Championship. As a result, this match was made, and it is an excellent match. It was actually the very first fatal four-way match that the WWF had on pay-per-view. One of the best things about this match is that it just keeps on going. There are no lulls in the action at all, and the interaction between Bret Hart and Vader is excellent, and made me wish it was Bret who feuded with Vader in 1996 instead of Shawn Michaels. What are your thoughts on this match? Could Vader have been a legit monster in the WWF? Had he gone against Bret Hart instead of Shawn Michaels? Bret Hart vs British Bulldog in your house 1995. Okay, 
So I was actually at SummerSlam 1992, but if I had to pick between that match and the one Bret Hart and the British Bulldog had here, this one would win every time. Don't get me wrong, the match at SummerSlam 1992 is great, but this one just has more drama, more edge, more character. Both these guys were great and they went all out with this match. While most people will focus on the brutal amount of blood that Bret Hart lost in this match, even without that, this is a great match where two of the best at the time showed why they deserved to be at the top of the card. There was just so much drama to this match and it felt much more real than the match they had had at Wembley Stadium in 1992. What match do you prefer? SummerSlam 1992 or this one here? This is just a small selection of the great matches that happened during the new generation era. We couldn't list all of the great matches, but we encourage you guys to list your own favorites from this era in the comments section down below. And thanks again for watching.